teachers, on Friday it is going to be difficult to make an entire news broadcast. On the other hand, this week uh, is Freedom Week and today is Constitution Day. So for Friday's news broadcast, I would like to do this. Please email me if you would like to participate in a video montage of teachers talking about what their favorite part of the Constitution is. I will try to record you this week for airing on Friday. Thanks. Hey MJ, welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Grace. And I'm Sophie, and today is September 17th, National Constitution Day. We the people of the United States, in order Anyways, to... Anyways, let's go on to announcements. The following members of the homecoming court need to meet briefly in C-113 during RTI today. Malaysia House, Abria Burks, Madison Fountain, Molly Back, Emily Bingham, Delaney Eaves, Lyndon White, and Savannah Tromsness. Speaking of homecoming, today is Character Day. The rest of this week's themes are Tuesday, Dress Your Age Day, Wednesday, Pajama Day, Thursday, Salad Dressing Day, and Friday, Black and Gold Day. B&M will have a camera set up during all lunches this week, so if you're dressed up, make sure to stop by and show your bear pride. Last week's recordings of Character Day were very popular, so let us record you today. And now, here's B&M's very own Perry Howard with more information on this Friday's homecoming parade. On the morning of the parade, students who have turned in permission forms to participate in the homecoming parade will be dropped off at Charlie Daniels Park. The drop-off location is located where the Red Star is. Students are not allowed to park at Charlie Daniels Park. They must park their cars at the high school and ride one of the six buses leaving from the commons at 8.15, unless they are being dropped off. This is the path the students and the parade floats will follow as they reach the high school. Vehicles will be stopped with their engines off while students are loading and unloading. Students will not enter or exit vehicles while the vehicles are moving, and no candy or other objects will be thrown or given away during the parade at any time. This includes no candy to the middle, elementary, or high schools. Remember, no students are allowed to park at Charlie Daniels Park. Juniors, the deadline for ordering class shirts has been extended. You can find order forms and information in the cafeteria this week. Turn in your forms and money to Mr. Peach in the B&N room or to Ms. Elliott in room A174. Seniors, your class shirts are being sold online until the 25th. You have the option of a short sleeve, a long sleeve, or a hoodie, so get your orders in. The JV football team will be playing Wilson Central at home tonight at 6. Come out and support your Bears. Speaking of football, your Varsity Bears came out with a 21-7 win of Wilson Central this past Friday, which marks our 10th year of beating Wilson Central. Bean in talked to some key players from the game. Check it out. Um, it's always going to be a big atmosphere in a rivalry game just because it's a county rival and a... Everyone's going to be there. Their offense couldn't really do anything. It's our defense uh, on Friday night. What did y'all do to prepare for the different looks they would show y'all on offense? We just went over tendencies, and we knew what they were going to run most of the night, and we just knew how to stop it. All right, we passed the ball a little bit more than usual on Friday night. Is that, was that a part of the game plan, or was that just kind of thrown in game time or a little bit before game time? Um, it's always thrown in before the game, but uh, we haven't faced a defense that we saw on film yet. So, uh, except for one, we faced one. And so it was a game time adjustment. We saw that their safeties would roll down really hard and the other safety was lazy getting over top. So we ran a post route because there was no one in the middle of the field and it, it worked. We had like penalties, penalties killed us. And I think we had like seven and put us uh, like in situations like second and 20 and just long downs that we, uh, we don't need to be in. Um, in the first half, we, we expected a bigger lead than we had. So at halftime, we just made adjustments and hoped it would work. Uh, we definitely need to be more disciplined on uh, the offensive side of the ball. And uh, on defense, we need a, a alignment. Our alignment needs to be way better. This is Connor Hicks from BNN. We'll see you next week. Well, that's all for your news today. I'm Sophie. And I'm Grace. And here at WBNN, Channel 9 News, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a great, great day, day, MJ. MJ.